Hey fellas, uh, it's George Willingham here. I want to talk to you guys today, uh, give you a review on a book that I read. Uh, the name of the book is um, Darkest Days or Blackout USA. And I can just tell you I've read the book and I just want to tell you a little bit about what's inside. Uh, as it turns out, it's 161 pages. It's an e-book and it's about how to prepare, uh, prepare yourself uh, to survive from an EMP attack, um, you know, electromagnetic pulse. And, uh, you know, some people say, well, it's only governments that can do this. And other people say this can be actually caused through, uh, you know, horrific uh, natural occurrences as well. Anyway, it was written by uh, Al Deacon. Uh, he's the author of Backyard Liberty uh, Aquaponics. And uh, he's the editor uh, of Survivopedia.com, so you may be familiar with his work. Uh, in this particular book, uh, you're going to learn how to make your own simple Faraday cage uh, that costs less than $100. Now, as you know, uh, Faraday cages work to protect your electronics from uh, EMP attacks, uh, as well as um, a variety of other uh, excessive electric charges so that's a real handy thing to know how to do um, you're also going to learn how to make your own energy um, now this is important because after a, a large-scale EMP uh, you're not going to be able to go to the grid and get electricity uh, you can only get it through your own solar wind uh, micro hydro systems, uh, fossil fuel generator, wood gasifier, you know, stuff like that. And um, now, some of the tips that I learned from this book is that if you want to purchase a, a whole house generator, uh, choose the one that runs at the lowest RPM. Uh, that makes it quieter and it consumes a lot less fuel. And you're probably going to need that fuel for, you know, for some time. Uh, you can learn about food production and storage. Uh, that's in uh, chapter six, I think. And you can learn how to uh, can your own meat, how to preserve uh, vegetables when you don't have a refrigerator. Good to know. Uh, how to cook without a stove uh, by making your own easy stove. They call them easy stove. And uh, you'll learn how to uh, make, uh, make your house become a uh, really a shelter and and that's a real advantage now there are some important uh, things that I did learn that I never thought of and I guess I sh I guess anybody would know this uh, never ever 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 bring a generator uh, into your house to run s things like small appliances and that sort of thing uh, generators typical generators that burn uh, fuel uh, emit carbon monoxide and the results can absolutely kill you so just think ahead leave that kind of stuff outside um, you'll learn how to uh, make your own hidden cash uh, which is which is great because you can store your food and your emergency supplies there and uh, nobody will see them uh, you'll learn how to um, uh, water yeah, you'll learn how to find and store uh, clean water, and you'll learn how to uh, use self-defense and how to uh, communicate during an EMP attack. So all of that's really important. You're going to learn a whole lot more from this ebook. It's just great. Um, now, at the uh, at the place uh, where you go to, in fact, if you'll click the link below. Uh, that'll take you to the guide and uh, you can buy it it's only forty nine dollars not a whole lot of money but additionally you get two bonuses now one is an off-grid home protection system it tells you how to keep your home safe without any home protection systems and without it using any electricity you need to know that when the electric grid goes down, obviously, it's a good thing to know how to do. Uh, another is how to make your own pharmacy. And we all love this one. Uh, natural treatment alternatives. 
uh, for a time when there may not be any doctors readily available. So um, check it out. Click the link below. Now there is a 60-day, uh, no questions asked, full money-back guarantee. So look, there's no risk to buy the guide. Um, I think you're going to really benefit from it. And that's my tip for the day. Thanks for watching.